Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, my dear students. Hey, it's a pleasure to see you once again. I hope you are doing good. How are you? Very good. Excellent. I am very, very happy. How are you, How are you teacher? I'm very good. I am doing great. Let me just turn on my camera and we're going to start. Great. Well, I am doing good. Very happy to see you once again. Very happy to be in another class with you. And for sure, very glad to have the chance to learn a little bit more today. So how was your day? Was it good, bad, so-so, excellent, fantastic? How was your day? Very well. Very good. Very good. Very well. Excellent. What did so you hard. do? So hard. It was hard, I imagine. Yeah. Well, happy International Women's Day for all the ladies in the group. Right? It's a day to commemorate, right? Not to celebrate, to commemorate, but happy day for all of you and for all the great effort that you do. They are really admirable. Yo les digo siempre, he admirado a las mujeres. Y ahora, pues, me incluyo. <laughs> en todo lo que hacen. Hello, Ana. En todo lo que hacen. Imagínense sus mamás, todo lo que hicieron por usted. Así que, happy, happy, happy day today to commemorate the day. Very good. Today we are going to work on um, a little bit of the imperatives. And we are also going to work on the places in town. That's why I send you two links in WhatsApp for you to practice the places in town and for you to practice the names and some vocabulary about the places in town, right? As the vocabulary and the material is a lot, I decided to send it to you in WhatsApp so you can have it there. So you can have the material, you can read it later, you can read it carefully, and you can pay attention to every detail in the vocabulary, okay? So that it's going to be for the next class. We're going to use it tomorrow, so please check on the material, right? We're going to start today by closing a little bit the section of the health problems, right? Yesterday, we were checking on the platform, about the information uh, related to health problems, right? We were checking on all this information on how to prepare and mention the imperatives. We were also studying that. So we are going to work on this little conversation to start the class. Okay, and it says, this is a conversation between the doctor and the patient, right? The doctor and the patient. And it says, hello, Mrs. West, how are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted, it says, I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know, I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. When the doctor says, let's take a look at you, it's because the doctor is going to check. He's going to check your eyes, he's going to check your ears, your heart, your pressure, your blood sugar levels, right? The doctor is going to check everything on you. When it says, let's take a look at you. Eso es, la voy a revisar. Uh -huh. And later on, the doctor says, I am going to give you some pills. Take one pill, every night after dinner. <clears throat> okay, it says, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks. Thanks, Dr. Young. So the prohibitions from the doctor, what were the prohibitions from the doctor? Tomar, 
Don't work too hard. <clears throat> Don't work too hard. That's the first one. Another one? Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee, right? Don't drink coffee. Another one? Don't drink tea, tea or, soda. or soda, right? <clears throat> because they have caffeine and that can uh, interrupt the process of sleeping. Well, do you have problems if you drink coffee at night? Yes or no? No. No, I can drink coffee at any time that I can and I sleep like a baby. <laughs> Who has problems with coffee? That you cannot drink coffee because you stay like a night owl and you don't sleep. No one? We are very Salvadorian, I can see. Niño salvadoreño que se respeta. Creció con café con pan. <laughs> And you don't have any, any problem with it. Yes, uh, I am going to send it in the chat. The phrase that I use, like a night owl. You know what's the meaning of owl? It's an animal and I have one here. Owl is an animal. This one, oh. an owl, right? This is an owl. And when you cannot sleep, you are like a night owl. Just there existing, watching, watching Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, <laughs> when you cannot sleep. So practice with me. Hello, students. How are you today? Hello. 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 How are you today? How are you today? Hello, students. How are you today? Hello. 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 How are you today? Not so good. Not so good. Okay, si están enfermos, no van a decir, not so good. Yay. Yeah. No, right? Not so good. Mostly if you are in the social security. Not so good, right? Más se anda buscando alguna incapacidad. Ay, not so you are dying there. So what's wrong exactly? So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Why are you so tired? Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am checking each of you. Okay, let's do revisar. Queda? Respire. Okay. I am going to give you some pills. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Take one pill every night after dinner. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything, Anything else? else? Yes, don't work too hard. Yes, yes. don't work too hard. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. Thanks, Dr. Young. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay, now what we are going to do, I am going to give you around five minutes and you are going to go to work in couples. Lo puede mandar a trabajar en parejas. One of you is the doctor and the other one is the patient. You have to invent another problem. The lady here is exhausted. Maybe you have a stomachache, you have toothache, you have a headache, you are stressed, you have COVID. I don't know, <laughs> you can invent any illness that you want, but one is the doctor and the other one is the patient. 
And when we come back, I will ask for three couples, volunteers, to present the conversation, right? So right now, I need you to have a screenshot on the conversation. Take a screenshot of the conversation. Screenshot. Me río porque siempre salgo en screenshot con los ojos. <laughs> screenshot on the conversation, go ahead. Do you have it? Yes? Screenshot? Done? Good. Yes. So we are going to go with, the, uh, with your couple to the groups and you are going to prepare your conversation. The same conversation, but you are going to change the problem. And for sure the medication, right? Because imagine if you have a stomachache and diarrhea, you are not going to give an aspirin. Take this aspirin. Take this acetaminophen. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> Take this vaporu. <laughs> so we have to be very careful. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, antacid or uh, I don't know, pills or pepto or some ranitidine. I don't know, give something to the patient. But according to the problem that the person has, okay? Not like take this muscle cream because you have a stomachache. Ahí se lo frota, vea, tal vez le se le quita. <laughs> no. So it's going to be according to the problem that you have. Okay, we have the couples ready and we're going to go to work. Only five minutes to do the conversation and practice, okay? So you have to be very fast. Let's go to the groups and let's practice the conversation. Let's invent. Go ahead. Oops. Accept my invitation. There you go. Very good. Very good. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Go with the groups. I am going to visit you later. Go ahead. Go ahead. Very nice. Very nice. Accept my invitation, please. Thank you very much. So <clears throat> all my students are in the different groups. We are going to go and visit each of the groups once they settle down and we are going to check on the work they are doing. The main idea is that they have to create a conversation similar to the one that we have here and they are going to change the health problem and for sure, the indications and the medication from the doctor. So we are going to mute our microphone and we're going to go and visit the groups. Entrando y diciendo de que, que okay. iba, que pasábamos a, a los grupos. Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, what you are going to do right now is that you are going to create a conversation similar to this one, right? But you have to change the information on the conversation. Okay. You are going to be, one is the doctor and the other one is the patient. So you are going to say, hello, uh, Mr. Mendoza, I, how are you today? I, I the doctor. Ah, Wilfredo is the doctor, so yeah, you are going yeah. to say, hello, Mr. Yeah. Morales, how are you today? And Mr. Morales is going to say, not so good. I am <laughs> so good. <laughs> not so okay. good. What's okay. wrong? And you have to invent a problem, okay? So okay. Okay. let's sí. do that. And do you have the screenshot? Yes. ¿Tienen la conversación? No, teacher. Okay, entonces saquen un screenshot ahorita para que les quede. Igual se lo pueden yes. grabar. Okay, se lo voy a enviar al grupo. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Le, se las envío ahorita. Ah, ya me ganaron. Sí, sí. Sí, ya la envió alguien. There you go. So, eh, I'm going to send it back. Okay. And practice, okay? Practice the conversation okay. and create your own. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. Me compartí. Alfredo. Ay. You doctor. Alfredo. Uh, I am a doctor. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> espérame, espérame. Vamos a. Voy a compartir entonces. 
Sí. Compártanla, compártanla que me voy a los otros grupos. Ok. Ya no para regresar. No, I am just oh, ah. <risa> Yo dije, se acabó no, el tiempo. Pero esa, esa frase hay que quitarla porque dice, ¿por qué estás tan cansado? Entonces ahí hay que ponerla y, y ponerle. Sí, sí, sí. Después de I have fever, voy a decir yo. Entonces usted tiene que decir, I feel. How do you feel? ¿O no? How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? Ok. Or you, you can say, when did it start? ¿Cuándo comenzó? Oh. When did it start? When did it start? When did it start? When, when did it start? Ajá. Uh -huh. Instead of... Stop. Start. Start. ¿Cuándo se detuvo? No, ¿Cuándo? no, no. no. ¿Cuándo le comenzó? ¿Cuándo empezó? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cuándo empezó? Uh -huh. Exactly. And you can say like today, yesterday, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's like hitting El Salvador, right? When you go to the doctor. ¿Y desde cuándo está enfermo? Ay, desde hace tres días. <laughs> <laughs> And why didn't you come before? <laughs> right. And then you go at night. Y vas en la noche todavía. <laughs> Uh, cuando empezó um, and you can say yesterday or or uh, on Saturday in after week no <laughs> one no. week with fever hmm? no. <laughs> ya se me murió <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can say um, uh, two days ago or one day ago or yesterday or today two, in the morning two days ago two days ago Two days ago is hace dos días. Así, two days ago. Two days ago. Okay, good. Very good. <laughs> Continue. I am going to go and see Thanks, the other room. You're welcome. Go ahead. Ese, ese creo que no está. Ese creo que no está. Es que no se vaya a la cama tarde. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Está bien. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's so good, it's perfect. It's... <laughs> it was Michel, good. Yes. Este, este es un caso real, pero ¿cómo podemos decir antibiótico es antibiotic? Antibiotic. Antibiotic. Anti, anti? Antibiotic. You write it the same, but without the O. Lo único que no le pones la O al final. But the pronunciation is antibiotic. Anti, antibiotic, 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 Usted como mm -hmm. mi doctor, recomiéndeme ir a dormirme a las 8 de la noche. No, because you have English class. Don't go to, yo don't go to the bed. Later. At nine. No, go to the bed at nine. But at, at eight, no, at nine. Okay. You don't go to the bed at nine. Yes. Justamente, vaya. Entonces, cuando ya falte cabal un cuarto, me voy a poner la pijama. Y... <laughs> At nine, nine o oh two. Okay. okay. Good. I am going to go and check the other groups. Continue working. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Um... Dry food. Dry food. And. I put in drink a lot of water and drink hello teacher hi I am listening to your conversation <laughs> uh, what, uh, how can I say drink 
suero? Ah, uh, wait, let me look for the word because I don't know, I don't remember the name. Andrina, no. But, well, in that case, you can say stay hydrated. Hi. Stay hydrated. Okay. Mantenga se hidratada, right? Sí, sí. In stay high. Hydrated. Okay. The word is serum. I am going to send it to you right now. It's serum. Let me see if I have a chat here. Yeah. I don't know if you can if you can check on the chat. It is a serum. 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 It's suero, right? Serum. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay, that's the pronunciation. Or you can say, you can say also a stay, stay hydra hydra hydrated. 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 Mm -hmm. Stay hydrated is mantenga se right? Mm -hmm. Good, very good. Continue working. I'm going to go and check the other groups. Okay. I don't know. Hello. Maybe it's a migraña. <laughs> migraine. 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 That's all. You finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, practice, please. The medicine, <laughs> doctor. Um, well, and then I will give you some pills with caffeine and Tylenol for okay. the pain. Okay. <laughs> If you don't find that, you can buy Alibi. Hey, they're good, Alibi. Like Alibi. Uh -huh. Then you, you must take one of these pills when the pain be begins. Oh, okay, Alibi. And then you must to take each uh, one pill each six hours. Wow, that's a very good doctor. <laughs> one to six hours. One pill uh -huh. every six hours. Every six hours. Yes. Okay. Bien. Entonces, sin... Bueno, quedaría entonces como esta conversación, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, sí. Pues, podríamos ¿sí? practicarla si gusta. Sí, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, hello, Miss uh, Hi. Elena. <laughs> How are continue, you continue. Today. No, so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I have a head. Mm. Why are you so worried? Uh, stress? I don't know. I just can focus in the work. Okay, uh, let's stay a look at you. Uh, <laughs> sería bueno tener la. la la pantalla, ¿verdad? Pero en ese momento sí, la compañera tiene problemas con la, Let's con take la cámara, sí. Ah, exactly. Mm. Mm. We're going to eh. check. <laughs> ok, vamos a ocultar nada más. I'm going to give you some pills uh, for the health hack. Takes. In coffee. No, arriba. I am going to give you some time for the other, the other receptor. Okay, okay. okay. 
Welcome back. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, now we're going to practice. We're going to show what you did in the groups. Okay, so we are going to work on uh, the presentations because uh, I was checking on you, I was visiting the different groups and I saw you practicing. Volunteers, it's any volunteer? Hey, Mr. Eduardo, who were you working with? Con quien estaba trabajando? With Heidi. Ah, but Heidi, did, I think she had problems, right? Heidi, what are you? Okay, but she came back and she disappeared and she came back. So we're going to check. Any volunteer? Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Volunteers? Thank you, Mr. Wilfredo and company. Very good job. Voluntario lo hago. Okay, Mr. Wilfredo and Mr. David. Yeah. yeah. Action. Uh, wait a, a minute. Uh, Do you need the conversation? Yeah, okay. teacher, a moment, please. Okay, si no se las comparto yo, tengan Por favor, okay. compártalo okay. con la nueva. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Porque la foto de mira mal. I am the doctor. Okay. Hello, Mr. Morales. How are you today? Not so good. Feel problem. I have a high fever. So what's wrong exactly? I am tired. My day difficult. Um, why are you so uh, <laughs> this problem? Why do you have the problem? <laughs> but I, I don't know. I just can't work a day. My day difficult. Or hell. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you some uh, aspirin. Take one, uh, one aspirin uh, every. Wait a minute. Ya lo vamos a abrir, espérate. The doctor is very busy. I'm very sorry. I am the secretary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Um, uh, take one um, aspirin every every day. Uh, <laughs> okay, doctor, I'll can please. My problem is okay. he, he has a big headache. What has been every day? I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. You are the doctor. Uh, um, I don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Okay, anything else, doctor? Mm, yes, don't work too uh, hard. After. Don't work too hard. <laughs> thank you, doctor. All right, thank you, doctor. You're With welcome. Fredo, thank you. <laughs> Thank you Next. very much. <laughs> very good. A clap for your friends. Very good yeah. job. Hey, 
Un aplauso okay. a sus amigos, chicos, es de gratis. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very good job. Okay, now, eh, <clears throat> any other volunteer? Five, four, three, two, one. Eduardo and Heidi. Action. Hello, Miss Heidi. How are you? Hello, doctor. Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I have a headache. How do you feel? I feel terrible. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you an aspirin. Take two pills every day for three days. Okay, doctor. Thank you. And don't get stressed and you should practice and sport or do exercise good okay thank you doctor thank you doctor thank you doctor <laughs> thank you very good excellent conversation Yay. thank you for the claps no 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 le den muchos aplausos que peligroso ahí Se nos acaba. Uh, thank you, group. It was very good. Nice pronunciation. Very nice job, uh, Miss Heidi and Mr. Edward. Next, volunteer. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Jenny and company. <laughs> Mendoza. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can listen to. Miss Mendoza. I don't know. Miss Mendoza. Hey, Miss Mendoza. Wait, wait, wait. No, Sorry. she's here. She's here. Hey, Miss Mendoza. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong? Not so good. What's wrong today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm stressed. Mm, why are you stressed? <clears throat> I had a bad day. <clears throat> and I, I am a little sick. A little, okay, let's take a look at you. Mm, I'm going to use uh, mus muscle cream in the for the back 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 backache. 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 And for the stress, uh, drink some tea and rest in the afternoon. <laughs> Could I take some of tea or, or, or what more else? Hot. Hot tea. Hot tea is okay. Yes. Okay. And please rest in the in the in the afternoon. Okay. I will do. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Yeah. Estos pacientes Thanks. solo son me van del consultorio. <laughs> I pay, I pay. <laughs> She's going to pay. Very good job, very good job. Hey, aspirins are very famous here, I can see. Well, Evelyn has a real life situation. So, Evelyn, go ahead. <laughs> Ella sí tenía el problema de verdad. Let's see. Evelyn and your couple, go ahead. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Dr. Elmer. How are you today? It's not very well. What's going on exactly? How do you feel? I have a sore throat and a cold. 
Okay. Uh, you need to drink a uh, asurap and buxol for three days, and you to take uh, antibiotic Reno Reno Park. Okay. Finally, you don't go to the bed later at night. <laughs> Go to bed at nine, okay? At nine, no before, at nine. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. You don't go to the bed at night. <laughs> no, go to bed at night. Oh, okay, go to bed at night. <laughs> okay. Okay, doctor. And... Anything else? Um... After three days, <laughs> Evelyn called me. How are you feel, Evelyn? Eh, uh, I'm a bit. Eh, es es tres días después. Yes. <laughs> Y después, Evelyn, ¿cómo se sintió? Sería, I am, I am very well. Ok, congratulations, Evelyn. Thank you, doctor. Ok. okay. Thank you very Bye, much. Evelyn. <laughs> Excellent job. Excellent job, my dear student. <laughs> you see the doctor because he needs a second uh, visit, a second payment. Hello, how are you? Uh, three days later, uh, five days later. Hello, how are you? Evelyn? <laughs> Every two More days. Morning. More morning. <laughs> More morning. Well, it was very good. <laughs> Ajá, imagine. No, no le di incapacidad. Solo la mandó a dormir. <laughs> Thank you to my volunteers on this conversation. So, we were also practicing the imperatives, right, at the moment of giving the indications, right, the imperatives that are affirmative if the person needs to do something specific or negative if you are prohibiting something for the patient, right? Here we have some examples of the imperatives. As I was telling you yesterday, you don't use a subject, okay? A esos no les ponemos sujeto. No decimos, you don't take a pill. He rests in bed. She drinks lots of juice. No, just the verb and the complement, right? Take a pill every four hours, right? Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late, right? Jugando ahí en el play or watching Netflix. No, don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Oh, my coquita, you would say. Oh. No, don't drink soda. It's not good for you. Drink water, right? Drink water. Do you have your water next to you? Uh -huh. A ver, momento de hidratación, quiero ver todo. Everybody, drink your water. Drink your water right now. <laughs> I am the doctor right now. But stay hydrated, okay? Momento de hidratación para todos. Como en el colegio. Momento de hidratación. <laughs> Very good. I do that in class. Yo eso hago en las clases. Para en todo. Momento de hidratación. Todos acá su botellín. Okay, so drink a lot of water and don't drink soda, okay? Don't drink soda. And don't drink alcohol because that it's not going to be good with the medicine. But it's a very common question, right? ¿Y cuándo puedo tomarte? <laughs> to the doctor. It's like, no, you can't. ¿Y con la medicina puedo tomar, doctor? <laughs> no, you can't. No, oh, no, no. Wine. Don't drink wine, okay? So remember that uh, this is the formula, right? Don't, if it is a negative thing, the verb and the complement. Example. Sleep at least eight hours. Drink a lot of water. Don't exercise for a week. Imagine if you have a backache. 
don't exercise for a week. If not, you are going to be worst. Don't eat sweets. No coma. Dulces. Don't eat sweets. Maybe the dentist is going to tell you that. And keep a balanced diet. Those are examples of imperatives. So in this case, we have some sentences. I need you to help me to create the imperative forms of the sentences. Here I have different verbs. Call, listen, see, take, not go or don't go, not worry, don't worry, not drink, don't drink, and not eat, don't eat. I have two examples. Call a dentist, don't worry too much. Two aspirin, what is the medication for that one? What is the imperative? Take. 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 Take two aspirin. What about the next one? To school. Not go. In an imperative form? Don't go. Don't go. Very good. Take two aspirin. Remember that in the negatives, you say don't, right? Don't go. Don't go to school. To relaxing music. Listen. 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 Listen to relaxing music. A doctor. Call. Be a doctor. Be a doctor. Be a doctor. Be a doctor. Coffee. Don't, no, don't, don't drink. Don't, don't drink. drink. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. And any candy. Don't eat it. Don't eat any candy, don't right? Eat. Don't eat don't any, candy. any candy. In which case would you receive the first indication? En qué caso le darían esta indicación? When, call a dentist. When, when. Call a doctor. Ajá, pero en which case? ¿En qué caso le darían esta indicación? Si tiene well, 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 dentist. Uh, Emergency. When you have a toothache, right? Oh a my thuric, god. Thuric. Call a dentist. In which cases do you receive this one? Don't worry too much. For exhausted. When you are exhausted, when you are Stress. Uh, stress when you have tired, tired. when you are tired when, when you have tired. a headache when you have migraine right don't worry too much what about this one take two aspirin when i have a headache when you have fever when you have a headache uh, okay a backache right don't go to school. In which case do you receive this indication? Did they ring? When you are sick, when you have a cold, right? When you have a cold, when you have COVID, don't go to school. Fever. When you have fever, right? Listen to relaxing music. In which case would you receive an indication like that one? When you are feeling a stress, right? When I, have when I don't, I I can sleep. When um, you can sleep, very good. See a doctor in any case that you are sick, right? Yes. Don't drink coffee. When you can sleep. And you stretch. When you have insomnia. Yeah. Stomach when you have insomnia, when you have a stomachache, when you cannot sleep. When you have heartburns, cuando tienes acidez. When you have heartburns, don't drink coffee. And don't eat any candy. And you. Uh, when you have. You can have a tutor. <laughs> when you have a tutor. When you have a tutor. Uh -huh. When you have, uh, when you have uh, diabetes, when you have blood sugar levels, don't eat any candy, right? So you have to be very careful with that one. Very good job. And the last activity that we have about this topic is this one. In this one, you have different problems. And you see, they have different situations. 
What do you think is the best recommendation for each of them? What would you recommend? This person needs sugar, needs sugar, needs ketchup. ketchup. This person needs ketchup. What is your recommendation? Don't know. Eat. Don't eat, eat hamburgers. Don't eat hamburgers. <laughs> because you have, if you need ketchup, what do you do? Is take, take some on the ketchup. Boat. You take some ketchup. If you are in the restaurant, it, uh, it helps. What do you do? Si están en un restaurante y necesitan ketchup y no tienen ketchup, ¿qué van a hacer? Solicitar. Ask for it. Okay. You say ask for it. I am going to send it to you on the chat. When you say ask for it. Pídela. Ask for it. Or buy some ketchup if you are in your house. If you need ketchup, buy some ketchup, right? This person has a backache. Oh, what is your recommendation? Yes, sit down. Yes, dig. Seek doctor. Visit a doctor. Uh huh. Use the muscle cream. Use muscle cream. Drink artribion. <laughs> Cofal. Put some cofal there. Very good. This person uh, cannot dance very well. This mm. person cannot dance very well. Mm. Take a dancing class. Take a mm. dancing class. Very good. Take some dance lessons. And that's, mm. the, that's the recommendation. This listen musical for it. Yeah, he needs to listen to music and practice. Watch videos about dancing. This person feels sad. Listen to music. Listen to music. Visit a therapist. Visit a therapist. Well, go with the psychologist. Okay. Call uh, Elena. <laughs> go out with your friends. Call Elena. Go out with your friends. Very good. Right? This person needs to do something with their friends. What happens in El Salvador? And a therapist. Uh -huh. Yeah, go with Elena, please, if you have problems. <laughs> in El Salvador, if you say like, ando triste, no estés triste. <laughs> Me siento mal, no te sientas mal. <laughs> Estoy enfermo, no estés enfermo. Thank you very much. Ando tosiendo. No tosas. <laughs> Solutions for every single oh, problem boy. in El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, it's like, estoy preocupado. No te preocupes. <laughs> Come on. Don't, don't worry and be happy. Don't, don't worry, worry be, be happy. happy. This person has a test tomorrow. <laughs> What is your recommendation? Study. Study. Use, use, use the glass. <laughs> use, wear glasses, right? Study, please. And this. Don't go to bed later. Don't go to bed late. Don't go to bed right. late. This person has the flu. Doctor. Visit doctor. the doctor. Take a pill. Take uh, pills, doctor. take cold pills and call a doctor. Go to the social security, right? And then you are going to be better. It's like, ya se va a sentir bien. It's like, estoy mal, ya vas a estar bien. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those are the things that we recommend in El Salvador, right? And uh, this is the, the end of our session, right? For the section number two. Here, we are going to introduce a little bit of the section number three that we're going to cover with the places in town. And here I have the one just to introduce the class for, uh, for tomorrow, right? We are going to use the places in town and the different vocabulary that I sent you. 
So you are going to use it. Here we have, let me just move this one a little bit, right? Or agreements for sure, that I always remind you about the agreements. Practice as much as possible. Keep the cameras on all the time because for some of you, I don't see you. Attend the sessions, participate, cooperative attitude with your friends in the WhatsApp group and for sure, collaborate with them. So yesterday we were also practicing a little bit of this. We were practicing the different places in town, right? The different places that you have around your house. If I ask you, what type of places do you have near your house? What can you mention? ¿Qué lugares hay ahí cerca de su casa? Do you have a bank near your in house? The park, in the park. You have a park. So you say, there is a park. There um, is a supermarket. Hospital. School. A Mall. hospital, a school. Mall. Church. Drugstore. The drugstore. Doctor. Mall. And the mall. Markets. The restaurant. The market. Good. The mall. The mall. The gasolator. Uh, the gas gas station. station. Gas station. Yeah, it's like amor. Llegame, llevame a un lugar caro. Let's go to Texas. Gas right? station. <laughs> gas station. <laughs> so, uh, do you have a, do you have a drugstore near your house? A drugstore where you can go and buy medicine? Yeah. Yes. A restaurant? Yeah. A bank? No. A bank near your house? Yeah. A gas station? Yes. A post office? No. Yes. A bookstore? Una librería? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sure. The church, right? You have the church. And yeah. I think I, I recopy this one. Okay. You have a church, right? Very good. Let me just erase this one that I copied again. There you go. So, and we can have many different places. Do you have a pupusa's place near your house? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Do you have a supermarket? Yeah. 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 Walmart. Walmart, right? <laughs> Walmart no nos paga nada por este comercial. Yeah, I have I have San Miguelito Market. Very close to my house. So I am going to open here. What other places do you want to know how to say or what other places do you have near your house? Here we have the pupusa's place, right? Not my house, yes, a park. A park, good. Another one? Bookstore. A bookstore, well, we have a bookstore, the bookstore and the library. What is the difference between a bookstore and a library? Bookstore? Uh, no. The library is, is uh, the real. Not the bookstore book. is the pen, pencils. Book. Excellent. Very good description. In the bookstore, you can buy pen, pencils, paper, whatever thing. But in the library, you can just go and read books you can just go to read at the library you can go and investigate at the library but not maybe you can buy books you can buy books but you cannot actually buy any other thing i have mr hemingway here so uh, that's the difference for the, between for the for the library is only read the book yes you can go to read and investigate and in the bookstore, you can go and buy things. Okay, thanks, teacher. For sure, you can have a bar, you can have a hotel, you can have also, um, let me see, other places. Ah, a grocery store. A grocery store okay. is La Tiendita, right? A discotheque, good. What is the The hospital. The hospital. The bakery, very good, the bakery. Oh, yeah. 
It's very necessary, right? For the pancito. Police station. A police station, right? A police station. Teacher. Yes. Y taller. Ah, a garage. Garage. Or you can say a Is car. A, yes. How do you say uh, funeraria? Very good question. Funeral. Funeral home. Parlor. For funeral home, right? A funeral parlor, parlor it's funerary. Any other one? Thanks. Any other one that you have there? Veterinaria teacher. Okay, uh, veterinary. I am going to write the butcher shop. Ferretería. Okay, a uh, hardware store. A hardware store, it's ferretería. Veterinaria is the vet, the vet, pet. the vet. Uh, any oh. other one? The vet. Bar. What, a bar. I like, have a bar. <laughs> <clears throat> like exactly like that. Exactly like that. The vet or the clinic, right? Well, we can have also a clinic, right? But a clinic is for people. Uh -huh. We can have a clinic. A clinic. And in this case, you can have also a dental clinic. The beauty. Beauty ah, the beauty salon. Beauty salon. Mm. The beauty salon. Um, chat is iglesia. Chat. The church. 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 I'm going to write it here. Barbary. Church. Barber shop. The barber shop, right? The barber shop. For the men. <laughs> For the boys, yes. The barber shop. Another one? <laughs> A very common one here. <laughs> and yes. nowadays it was very famous. The ice cream shop, right? <laughs> For the fight, it was very common. <laughs> that some days ago. <laughs> the ice cream shop. <laughs> you see, I am in everything. I have the news. Uh huh. The pet. The pet shop. The pet shop where you can go and buy pets. Okay, no compren, adopt it. The pet shop. Any other one? Centro Gobierno. <laughs> well, the, ma the main hall is the Alcaldía, right? The, chair, the yes. airport. The airport, very good. The, the airport. The and theater. At the theater, very good. The theater. Gym. The gym, right? The gym. El lugar que todos quieren ir en el. The gym. Any other one? For sure, the university. The school, right? The university, the school. What uh, the <laughs> the ah. title of reparation, what does it what say? Okay, wait, let me say the daycare center is the guarderia. Okay, here we can have the tire repair shop. It's como una llanteria. Okay. Tire repair shop. Tire repair shop. Uh, let me see. Which one? Sure. Yep. The Which zoo. One? The zoo. The zoo. The zoo. Right, the zoo. Any other one? Beauty salon. I have the beauty salon here. The beauty salon. Uh huh. Like notebooks. The which one? Comida china. Ah, those are restaurants. The restaurant. And in this case, you can have the Mexican restaurant, the Chinese restaurant, the Italian restaurant, the, any type of restaurant that you want to have, right? The restaurant and let me see. Now, the what? Dry cleaning. Hey, the dry cleaning, very good. The computer shop, the dry cleaners. The spa. The spa. The spa and the shoe shop. Shoe shop. La tienda de zapatos. 
The shoe shop. Okay, I am going to leave this list here and I am going to send it to the, to the chat. And if you have more places to include, you can do it in the list, okay? Se la puede enviar al chat, la lista así como la llevamos, para eh, si tienen algún otro, lo podemos ir agregando ahí en el chat, okay? So that mm -hmm. it's going to be because we're going to use them tomorrow, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students. We're going to stop here and we're going to continue with this tomorrow, okay? Have a beautiful night, sleep a lot, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Have, a, have a great night. Sleep well. <laughs>